from whom all blessings flow. Praise ye creatures here below. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Let's lift him high this morning. He's worthy.
And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come 
And Jesus answered and said unto them, If I was truly shall first come and restore all things, but say unto you that Elias is come already. And they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise, also the Son of Man suffered of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him, saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For oft time he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. I saw him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you, and how long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured for that very hour. <coughs> then came the disciples of Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have the faith that the grain of the mustard seed, ye shall say to the mountain, remove hence to yonder's place, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be un impossible unto you. May God bless the hearer, the reader, and the doer of his word. It's prayer time. If you've got the faith, God always has the power. When we connect our faith with God's power, miracles happen according to his will. So whatever your situation might be, God says, don't be a faithless generation, but come knowing and he rewards those that come in faith. spirits to come out to the house of prayer once again, Lord. But most of all, Lord, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who died on a lonely hill and on the third day rose again. And we know through him, Lord, that we have eternal life. Father, we thank you for this great gift, Lord. We shall not forget the deed that he did for us, Father. Let us be in his will, Lord. Let his will and his way be our will and our way. Yes. Father God, we ask that you would bless this great church, Lord. Yes, bless it in his coming out and his going in, Father. Bless us to draw others to you, Lord. Bless this great man that you have placed here, Father, the under-shepherd of this flock. Bless him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, Father. And then, Lord, let him lead us to the place that you would have us to be, Father. For, Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name this day. 
we pray. Amen. Amen. Hug your neighbor. Tell him I'm glad to be in worship with you today. Oh, Shake somebody by the hand. Shake at least two what people. What joy is mine. On the earth. If you're leaning on what him, shake he somebody by the hand. inside. Ain't the sun shining in here? Give God praise one more time. Amen. Amen. You've been welcomed by the Holy Ghost. Let us now be welcomed officially by our announcer as she come. Let's say amen as she come. Greetings, saints. Will all of our visitors please stand and remain standing? All visitors, please stand. Well, we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you will, introduce yourself to the congregation and our pastor by letting us know your name, your church home, your pastor's name, and any greetings you wish to extend at this time. We'll start right here with the young lady. Amen. Are there any others? On behalf of our pastor, the Reverend Juan D. McFarland, and the official staff of this church, we thank you for allowing this to be your worship experience today. We feel and we know that you will receive a Raymond word. You may feast on it the rest of the week and make it applicable in our daily lives. From us to you, you're welcome, and please do come again.
clean up what I messed up. Starting my life all over again. I gotta clean up what I messed up. Starting my life over again. I made up my mind. I ain't lying no more. Call the lion a cheater. Can't make it through the door. I gotta clean up. Yes, I do now. Oh, yeah. I got it. my mind, I ain't running no more, I'm going back to church, I'm going to walk right through that door, I God's word shatter. Sometimes I want to give up and go back. But you know what? 
Every time I try Leave this thing alone The world's on the inside Keep telling me the press on But I found out Like fire Oh Lord In my bones In my bones I want to say it again God's word Shut up Sometimes I don't want to And go back But you know what shallow Every time I try Leave this thing alone The words on the inside Keep telling me the press on But I found out like fire in my bone, in my bone. I got another verse. You ever been to a point in your life you've been hurt by your fellow man? They have a way of making you feel so bad when they know you're doing the best you can. So I decide I'm gonna be true. I'm gonna leave it alone. There ain't nothing else to do, but I found out like fire in my bone. Anybody got it in their bone like that? Born in your life. You've been hurt by your fellow man. They have a way of making you feel so bad when they know you're doing the best you can. So I decide I'm gonna be through. I'm gonna leave it alone. There ain't nothing else to do, but I found out like fire. In my bones, in my bones, God's word shall up. Sometimes I want to give up and go back. But you know what? Every time I try, Leave this thing alone. The words on the inside keep telling me the press on, but I found out like fire in my bone. Anybody got it just like fire in you? In my bone, it's just like fire. It's just it's like. The word. How many know it's yeah? Nothing but the word. It's dead like fire. The word is like fire. I know I can feel it in my bones sometimes. I can feel that fire. All of them. It's dead. Like fire, the word is like. How many know he? How many know he will? Now how many know he will? Now how many know he will? 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 In that light, like fire. The word is like fire. We take it on home. Dead like fire in my bones. In my
Amen. How many of you know his word is like fire shit up in my bone? Give the Lord another praise for our male chorus. Amen. We are going to skip a few phases now. We have church anniversary today at 3 o'clock. I want to let you out in enough time where you can go and regroup and come back. Amen. Amen. I want to say congratulations to Deacon Woodrow Wilson and Sister Alice Wilson. They celebrate 72 years of marriage today. Amen. Stand and give them a hand. Amen. 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 Let us be prayerful for Sister Ella uh, Tolliver's family. Sister Ella Tolliver, she uh, went to be with the Lord, and she is the relative to the Bailey family. So let us keep them in our prayers. Amen. Continue to be prayerful, Brother Walker. Brother Joe Walker, who finalized his mother on yesterday. And he led a song today, so the Lord is good. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. Let us keep all of our sick and shut in in our prayers, all our bereaved families in our prayers. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus, you're the center of my joy all that's good and perfect comes from you you're the heart my contentment hope for all I do, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Say that again, Jesus, you're the center of my joy ought to have a witness long backs good and perfect comes from you oh yeah you're the heart of my contentment Hope for all I do, Jesus, you're the center of my joy, mm, yeah, when I've lost my direction, You're the compass for my way. You're the fine light when nights cold. You are fine pleasure. In the simple things in life, you're the music in the meadows and trees. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Oh, 
that's good and perfect. I need a witness. Come from you. Yeah. Yeah. You're the heart of my content. Hope for all I do. Jesus, uh, you are the center of my joy. Jesus, uh, you are the center of my joy. When I'm lonely, Feeling sad, you are the lift of my head. You're the music. You're my song. You're my joy all day long, Jesus. You're the center of my joy. Anybody can tell God yet? Yes. Tell him yet. Tell him yes, yeah. yeah, yes. Anybody know he's a good God? Come on, let's just have church just for a little while. Stand on your feet and say, yeah, yeah. Anybody know the Lord is good? What he done for you? How has he made a way for you? Think about all the things he's done for you and tell your neighbor, he made a way. He made a way. He made a way. He made a way. Yeah. He made a way. He made a way. Yeah. yeah. Anybody here been down and didn't know how you were going to make it? Tell your neighbor I called on him. Early in the morning, I called on him late at night. Yeah, I want to be there. Yeah, yeah, oh my. I want to be there. Yeah. Come on, come on. This little light of mine, 
I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Come on, help me yeah. Come on, come on. chapter 5 Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 14 14 through 16 you'll find these words printed ye are the light of the world A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men 
light a candle and put it on a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it gives light unto all that is in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. This little light of mine, my brothers and sisters, Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Oh, what an awesome responsibility. For oh, you do know it is the responsibility of the S-U-N, the sun, to light up the world. It is an awesome responsibility and no substitute can be used for the sun. It is the sun that wakes us up in the morning. After cold night, after rainy night, after dark evening, it is the sun breaking through without invitation, breaking through the barriers of our lives, giving light to every dark place. The sun. Jesus said that ye are the church is the light of the world. After the dark, long nights of travail, it is the light of Christendom that welcomes hope for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it is light that comes in without invitation. So it is without Christian light. We don't need an invitation to shine for Jesus. Can I get a witness? We don't need no provocation. Amen. To shine for the master. Amen. All we need is an opportunity. Ye are the light of the world. What an awesome responsibility we have to those who are living in darkness. Those who are living in a life of depravity. We are their only hope. We give light to a dark world. Contrary to what the world call you, Jesus said you're light. Amen. The world calls us a lot of things. Call us holy rollers. Huh? Holy rollers, Bible pushers. Man, and they write about some of us. Some of us too holy to live. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> some of us, some of us act like we never done anything wrong. <laughs> Amen. We've been living holy and living pious all of our lives. Not so. 
Bible said all have sinned. Y'all ought to help me. And come short of the glory of God. I don't care who you are. You got some mess in your life. Amen. We, we, we can't be too holy to be helpful. Somebody say so heavenly minded that we'll know earthly good. Amen. All we need is a first class ticket to the celestials because we've exhausted our terrestrial activity. When you can't help nobody, then what good is it? Jesus says, ye are the light of the world. And then he says, you're a city that's set on the hill that cannot be healed. Then he gives some important information. He says, nobody take a light and a lamp and put it on the basket. But he rather he puts it on a lampstand that it may give light unto the whole house. So it is with you and I, we are the light of the world. So let your light shine before men that may, they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Now light does three things. Light shine, light reflects, and light gives warning. First of all, light shines. Making decisions in the dark can lead to regrettable consequences. Oh, yeah, yeah, but if you got a little light in the house, it'll help you to be able to see what is in your way. So it is in the world. The world needs us to illuminate their way so that they can see the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Let your light shine. Our light shines when we witness. Amen. We, we have launched a new ministry here evangelism as we go out and witness to those who are lost in the world we are to shine amen when we witness we are shining amen when you tell somebody about Jesus you shine it when, when, when you tell them that he may not come when you want him but he's always on time, you shining. When you tell them that uh, he will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus, you're shining. When you spread the word, you're shining. That's why we are asking many of you as possible to be a part of the COP program that you may learn the word, that you may know the word, and that you may adequately give the word to a dying world. When you witness, you're shining. You got a witness at home? Charity starts at home and then spread abroad. Some folk in our houses need to hear about Jesus. Amen, amen. There's some folk that we live with every day need to know the reality of serving a living God. We need to witness at home. We need to witness on our jobs. We may, may not be able to pass out Bible tracts. We may not be able to hold prayer meetings, but we can live like a witness. 
We can talk like a witness. We can act like a witness. When you be kind to people, you're witnessing. When you do good to those who despitefully use you, you witness. Amen, amen, amen. When, when, you, when you help somebody along the way, you are a witness. The world know that there must be something about you. There must be some Jesus about you because the world don't care anything about nobody. Oh, yeah, but when you give somebody a hand or somebody who lost their direction, somebody who had a hard time in life, when you can extend yourself, then you are a witness. Witness at home, witness on our jobs, and we need to witness everywhere we go. Let your light shine. Well, one thing about light, it cannot shine adequately if it is covered with a dirty lamp. Are y'all praying with me? Yeah, yeah. You have to, sometimes you got to take these globes down in order for you to get the proper proficiency of light. You got to take the globe down and clean it out a little bit. Every once in a while, we need to clean up our lives. I heard the choir say, I'm going to clean up where well, I messed up. Anybody here done messed up before? I'm starting all over again. We mess up just like Peter, who some of us are Mr. Mess Up. Amen. Some of us, that's all we do is just mess up. So every once in a while, we got to clean the globe of our lives. Get rid of the air pathogens that so easily beset us. The dust particles that just settle on us for no reason. Amen. That, that, that's some dust that get on us from being around other folk. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Amen, amen. You, you, you get go and be around a whole lot of folk. When you get home, you have to kind of spruce up a little. Because particles and debris from others come out on you. You need to say amen. I don't care if you wash your hands before you came in the sanctuary. When you leave out the sanctuary, you're going to need to clean your hands again. Stop, just fall on you. That's why the Bible says, don't lay hands on no man suddenly. You'll mess around and get contaminated. Contaminated with jealousy. Huh? Contaminated with envy. Contaminated with hatred. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Contaminated with gossip. These are airborne pathogens. that just settle on us. You sit by somebody who's evil, make you evil. Huh? You sit around somebody who's always talking about somebody, next thing you know, they use it, they, they tell me. Tell your neighbor, don't contaminate me. <laughs> I came to church to worship. When I left home, I came here to have a good time. Don't contaminate me. Oh, yeah. It, 
you got to get rid of that stuff so that you can shine properly. Imagine some of the some of the greatest enemies to our illumination is familiarity. The people who you hang around the most can be the greatest threat to your illumination. Are you praying with me? And so you got to make sure that you put the right cover over your life. Amen. You mess around and put the wrong cover over your life and you will be snuffed out. But that's what marriage is. Marriage is adopting a covering. You mess around and get hooked up with the wrong thing and it'll cut your light out. Huh? Just mess up your whole illumination. That's why the Bible says, come out from among them and be separated, be holy. I am holy, said the Lord. Light shines. Not only the light shine, but, but light, it illuminates darkness. Light is proactive. dispels darkness. Darkness is the absence of light. But light is not the absence of darkness. Because light can dispel darkness, but darkness cannot penetrate light. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. And so the book says... That if we're going to be the light that God has called us to be, we need to be proactive. We don't need to be reacting in a world of great spiritual threat and great spiritual disguise and great spiritual problems. We don't need to be reacting. We need to be proactive need to see before it's seen. Amen? So that we can move into the realm of the unknown so that it may affect the realm of the known. We need to be proactive. Not only does light shine, but light also reflects. Anybody here know that the best reflector can do a great work. The moon is only a reflector of the light. No, none of us has ever seen the light of the moon. All of us have seen the reflection of the sun off the moon. The moon has no light of its own. But it is a great reflector. So it was with John the Baptist. He had no light in him, but he was a great reflector. John said, I was a witness of the light. He said, I am not the light but I am a witness. In other words, I am a reflector. John simply saying, there's nothing good about me. There's nothing important about me. But uh, he's simply saying that I am being used by another. And so it is in the body of Christ. Yes, Lord, none of us are anything. 
No, no, none of us uh, are important within ourselves. But then it's all about Jesus. Yes, Lord. Uh, and so it is. Uh, we need to remember that uh, when we come to the house of the Lord. Yes, uh, we need to remember it's not about me. Oh, Lord, uh, it's not about what I have on. No, Lord, uh, it's not about what I got in my pocket. Uh, Oh, Lord, it's not about the, the car that I drive uh, or the house that I live in. I want to be a witness here. It's not about uh, who I am or what I know, but it's all about Jesus. Yes, is there anybody in here? Know that it's all about Jesus. Yes, Lord, it's all about the man who died for me. It's all about the man from Galilee. It's all about the man who can set me free is there anybody in here gonna lift up Jesus and, and I'm not gonna lift up myself oh Lord I'm not gonna lift up nobody but I'm gonna lift up Jesus yeah, Lord, but I heard him say, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw, I'll draw all men under me. Is it anybody in here? Gonna lift him up. Is it anybody here that made up your mind that you gonna lift him up? The wind may blow, and thunder may roll, but I'm gonna lift him up. Anybody here gonna lift him? When your burdens are heavy in your life, keep on lifting him. When you don't have money in your pocket, keep on lifting him. When sickness is all over your life, keep on lifting him. When your children just won't act right, Keep on lifting it. When your job have ended, when your friends are few, when your money's low and you don't know where to go, keep on lifting it. Is it anybody here that made up your mind that you gonna lift him? Tell your name, I'm gonna lift him. I'm gonna lift him. Is there anybody here gonna lift up Jesus? Not only does light shine, not only does light reflect, but then thirdly, light is a warning. Is it anybody in here 
know that uh, if you wait on the Lord, uh, it will uh, make a way somehow. Uh, I hear the Bible say, for God uh, so loved the world uh, that he gave uh, his only begotten son uh, that whosoever uh, believe in him, uh, you don't perish light is the one look at your neighbor and say neighbor the storm is passing over the storm is passing over is it anybody here that made up your mind that you gonna wait on him wait on the Lord he may not come when you want him to come but he'll show up won't he show up won't he do it is it anybody here know that he's able if you don't mind stand on your feet if you don't mind take your name of my hand and tell your name this little light of mine I gonna let it shine this little prayer I'm gonna keep on praying this little song I'm gonna keep on singing serving the Lord serving the Lord will pay up after a while is anybody here gonna keep on working every day cause I want my starving crown yeah Seven. Seven the Lord. Seven the Lord. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Anybody here going to let it shine? Anybody here going to keep on shining? When, when, when the storm of life is raging, keep on shining. When they talk about you, and you know they will, keep on shining. When the devil is on your trail, keep on shining. Save the Lord. Save the Lord. Save the Lord. Will pay off. Will pay off. The door of the church is open. The door of the church is open. Save the Lord. Hallelujah. The door is open. The door of the church is open. Serving the Lord will be all. Have the while. The door is open. Uh, serving the Lord. I know 
the Lord will pay. Jeremy, the Lord, oh, will the pay off. After a while, the door is open. Uh, serving the Lord, and now we will pay off. Yeah, after a while. Serving the Lord, I know it'll pay off. And well, oh, no, no. just keep working. Yeah. Shallow. Um, Deacon Williams want to remind the church we coming back at three o'clock, and we don't want the other church to get here from Bluton before we do. <laughs> okay, so we want to get back here on time. So we're going to try to go forward swiftly and take up the offering this morning. Uh, we invite the visitors to participate. We walk here at Shallow, so you are, are invited to participate with us and 
walking to give our offering this morning. If the mayor chorus is ready, they may come around and present their tithes and offering this morning. Outside aisles, please stand, face the wall, and follow the ushers around from the rear. Well, come on, Holy Spirit. Won't you send the Holy Spirit? Well, come on, Holy Spirit. Who we got no to have no the Spirit? It's the wall. Well, one of these morning. It won't be long. You gonna look for me. I'll be gone. See I'm going up to heaven. I got sing and shout. Won't nobody dare turn me out. I know my role. that we seek. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. I was getting ready for a little more of that. <laughs> but we got to go. <laughs> News you can use. Good afternoon. Today is March 16th, 2014. This is Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Juan D. McFarland is our pastor. I'm Jaquan McCall, and this is News You Can Use. Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church will celebrate the 95th church anniversary today at 3 p.m. The guest minister, Reverend Eric T. Andrews, Baptist Hill Missionary Baptist Church, Bruton, Alabama. The theme, through the years, changed and renewed by his glory. We hope to see all of you at 3 p.m. as we give praises to God for bringing Shiloh through the year. The A. H. Huffman Choir will rehearse on Wednesday, March 19th at 6.30 p.m. and on Saturday, March 22nd at 10 a.m. Sister Mary B. Reese, advisor. The Shiloh Layman's Ministry invites all men to the Layman's Meeting on Saturday, March 22nd at 11 a.m. Please remember to bring your Bibles, Brother Wyatt Hill. 
from the youth department. To all youth, Crusaders, Red Circle, Sunbeams, Youth Choir, Youth Ushers, and Team Talk. Get ready for Super Saturday on March 22nd. Pick up a purple information sheet in the foyer for details or see any youth department member. Lunch will be served and March birthdays will be celebrated. The youth department is making following plans for Easter. Easter egg hunt and cookout on April 12th. Easter recitations will be on Easter Sunday, April 20th during Sunday school. Easter speeches will be available at Super Saturday and next Sunday during Children's Church. A.H. Huffman Choir's tribute will be during Easter morning services. For further details, contact Sister Benita Johnson, Sister Mary B. Reese, and Sister Franny Yates. The new Shallow t-shirts are available for pickup. Pre-ordered shirts must be picked up by Sunday, April 6th. If you did not order a t-shirt, you can do so today and next Sunday. The cost is $15. Please see Sister Alicia Peacock or Sister Iva Davis today to place your order. The Southeast District State Convention. All ministries workshops will be held on Saturday, March 22, 2014 at 9 a.m. at Mercy Baptist Church. All auxiliary leaders are asked to participate. If you plan to attend, please sign the sheet on the bulletin board outside the finance room. There is a registration fee and deadline to sign up is today. Southeast District Oratorial Contest. Casey Robinson will represent Shiloh in the Southeast District Oratorical Contest on April 5th in Andalusia. Anyone who would like to travel to Andalusia to support Casey, please see Sister Marilyn Robinson. Unwrap your spiritual gifts. The spiritual gift surveys have been completed. Members who completed the survey will be contacted to share with you how to best use the gifts that God has given to you. If you did not take the survey, please see Reverend Green to schedule to complete yours. From the prayer ministry, prayer is the world's greatest wireless connection. The Shallow Prayer Ministry invites you to Sunday morning prayer at 8.30 a.m. each Sunday in the sanctuary where we pray for your needs and the needs of our church. When only prayer will do, we are here for you. Please continue to add your prayer requests to the prayer binder or drop them in the prayer box in the vestibule. Please remember the bereaved families in your thoughts and prayers. May God continue to give them comfort. Sick and shut in. Praying and remembering our loved ones. Gwen Dudley, Georgia Crawford, Herbert White, Randall McTeer, Maisie Finn, Shirley Davis, Lorraine Wimberly, Rosa L. Butts, Aline Parker, Margaret Studemeyer, Mamie Burton, Annie McGlover, and R.S. Bailey. If you would like for our pastor and your church family to know about your loved ones, please contact Sister Elmore at Yolanda Elmore 3 at gmail.com or home phone number 334-649-2279. Always know prayer changes things. From the Board of Christian Education and the Sunday School Department, please mark your calendar and plan to attend a Continental Breakfast sponsored by the Sunday School Department. The breakfast will be on the fifth Sunday, March 30th. There will be more information to come next week. We look forward to seeing you in Sunday school every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Bring your children and come learn the word of God. Congratulations. Congratulations to Jordan Yates. Jordan was accepted in Floyd Middle Magnet School for math, science, and technology. Congratulations to Deacon and Mrs. Woodrow Wilson Sr. They celebrated their 72nd wedding anniversary on March 15, 2014. Congratulations to Joseph and Nay Chappelle. They will celebrate their 50th anniversary on March 29th. The deadline for announcements is Tuesday at midnight. Please email your announcements to smbc underscore mtv at yahoo.com. This has been news you can use. I'm Jaquan McCall. Thank you for listening.
Amen. Thank you, Jaquan. You did a wonderful job with that. We thank you so much for that. We have a card here from the Willie and Jackie Watkins. Uh, thanks to God for he is good. And a special thanks to you, Pastor McFarlane, and our Shiloh Mission Baptist Church family. Amen. We appreciate that. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare now to leave that we may come back in about two hours and ten minutes. <laughs> Let us stand. Amen. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place. Mercy and peace, the love of our God and His Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us now and henceforth. Let us all sing. Amen. Amen.